Okay, this is just a quick video. Um, just an observation that's come up. Um, Deontay Wilder has come out with another most ridiculous statement, a complete clangor. The most, oh, you can't say the most idiotic thing he said because honestly, he said things that are so deluded that um, it's, it's getting impossible to rank, to rank the deludedness of them this disordered thinking, uh, inability to rationalise or reason or use logic. I mean, this guy is just an absolute buffoon of a man. But now, he said, Anthony Joshua avoided tough fights. Now, let's just break that apart. Maybe he's getting muddled up. He's so dumb he's forgotten what his own name is. And so maybe he meant to say Deontay Wilder has avoided tough fights. Because let's forget, Deontay Wilder ducked Anthony Joshua. He wouldn't fight him. He was offered a hundred million deal that would have been a fight over in America and a fight in England. You know, it's a guaranteed rematch. Incredible money when Wilder was only earning, I think his maximum purse had been five million to date. And yet, Wilder didn't want it because he had Finkel, his um, little white master, whispering in his ear that you've got to believe in yourself, Diane. You got to believe in me. You got to bet on yourself. And to do that, you got to stay with me and, and all this stuff. It makes no sense, obviously, other than if you're trying to make money for yourself and you don't want Wilder to make money. Because, you know, many of us believe Wilder would have beaten Joshua. I think he still might. But we, we won't know because Wilder won't fight him, wouldn't fight him. Um, but let's just look at why Joshua lost his titles. Any other boxer... Well, I say any other, no, I mean specifically Deontay Wilder in that position. He'd have just ditched the belt. Um, the only reason Usek got that fight, Joshua could have fought against other people and probably made a lot more money, actually. But he wasn't going for the money, he was going for the glory. And he wanted all the belts. And so when that WBA, a WBO rather, was there, because Usek had been the um, unified, uh, undisputed rather, cruiserweight um, big guy. Um, he automatically got the mandatory for the weight class up, the heavyweight division. And Joshua, uh, no doubt this went through his thinking that actually Usek's incredibly good and I could lose to him. He would have known that. But he didn't want to duck the fight. He didn't want to make himself like a Wilder or even like a Fury to a degree. No, he wanted to fight the best and prove he's the greatest. He could have just ditched the WBO belt. He could have reasoned, well, WBO is perhaps the least prestigious, at least it used to be not considered that prestigious. And Lennox Lewis didn't have it when he was un undisputed. And, you know, yeah, now it is considered a real belt. But, you know, it's not like um, that was... Uh, I don't, was that his, I'm trying to think which order he got the belt in. Now, he got that one off Parker, didn't he? So he could have said, well, it is my most recent belt, so it, it could go, or, or whatever. Because what was it? Uh, what was his first belt? was IBF um, against uh, Charles Martin, who was, who, who was the holder of that belt. And the second one was when he fought Klitschko for the vacant belt, which was WBA Super. So he could have ditched that. Um, but he didn't. He chose to fight, he, knowing that there was a very good chance that he would lose. And he, he did. Um, he could have reasoned then not to take the rematch. Instead, go away, practice his skills, wait for Usyk to age a bit, maybe get a bit more damage put on the clock, this kind of thing, on Usyk, and then take him on again later, an easier time. Like, do a May Mayweather. Mayweather used to do that. Um, you know, wait for Pacquiao to look to look a bit um, vulnerable. Uh, but anyway, no, Deontay Wilder is getting very muddled up if he thinks Anthony Joshua has ever avoided tough fights. He's always wanted the big fights, been trying to make the fight with Fury for ages, but Fury um, has never wanted it. And don't believe anything Fury says. I mean, every other statement he makes contradicts itself. He's a total liar. First, he wants the fans to be able to watch him fight Usyk for free. Then he wants half a billion dollars to make the fight. Now, if that's not a complete lie, uh, we don't know what is. Um, 
But yeah, Deontay Wilder, how did he get his WBC title when he had it? Didn't he beat Bermain Stiverin? Very uh, easy fight, not a top fighter by any means, probably not even in the top 10 at the time. And then just defended it against a bunch of nobodies. Um, admittedly, Joshua dealt with a couple of those nobodies. He, he beat Molina um, and he beat uh, Brazil before, even though uh, Brazil had been battered by Joshua. Um, Deontay Wilder was happy to make that fight um, and obviously stopped him, I think, in the first round, wasn't it? Um, and <clears throat> if we look at the list of mandatories that he fought, well, we don't even need to go there. I said it'd be a quick video. Um, just fighters not even in the top 10, not even, you know, just easy cherry-picked fights the whole time. And then he cherry-picks the wrong cherry because he um, <laughs> thinks that a big, fat, overweight, immobile fury is an easy victory. But even a fat, overweight fury has a far better boxing brain and better technique, technique rather, than... Uh, Deontay Wilder and many people's mind he um, Fury beat him in that first fight even though it was officially a draw and of course that knockdown if you count the ninth round knockdown very clearly on the back of the head um, because the referee whose name escapes me I've seen him in other interviews post fight interviews explain what behind the head is and it, the area that he explains that bit exactly where your sort of spinal uh, cord goes up that is a foul and that was where he was knocked down in ninth so that that should not have been a 10-8 round to Wilder um, and so really I mean obviously it was very close in the 10th Fury was finding it so easy that he um, he lost concentration really didn't he and he was very nearly stopped so not the 10th <laughs> 12 round fight nearly stopped in the 10th um, but yeah total idiocy from Deontay Wilder just showing what sort of a Either he doesn't know anything about boxing because he, he f doesn't follow it, so he's got no idea what's a good, what's an easy fight, what's a hard fight, or maybe um, he's been told by Shelley Finkel, his white boss, who, who said, "Just say that he avoids all the hard fights, Gianni. Uh, just say he's a ducker and a dodger, and he don't do the big fights, and everyone will believe you, and they will because most of his fan base is as." idiotic and brainless as deluded as he is. You know, it's funny that his brother, I've forgotten the name of his uh, little featherweight cruiserweight brother, who um, <laughs> got knocked out again, didn't he? Um, I've forgotten his, his name now. But um, of course he said that about the autopsy, we had, Diani had an autopsy after the the, fr the, the, the Fury second fight and uh, in the autopsy he had big lumps on his head or whatever it was, can't remember now. Um, all these <laughs> bizarre things. But I would love actually Deontay Wilder to, to have actually had an autopsy because one of the things they do right, they can do, is so open your skull, take out your brain and they weigh it. So for a lot of historical people, we've actually had their brains weighed. And because the brain is a very heavy part of your body, there's a lot of processing power packed into it. And I'd be really interested with Wilder for his brain just to be weighed. Because uh, I imagine it's probably like a honeycomb. I, I'm sure there can't really be any, anything in there. There's probably like, um, and it's not racist, this is just, you know, what I think. There's probably like a little chimpanzee sat right in the middle, like a little baby monkey or something, that's just, you know, tooting little horns and cycling on a little bicycle and um, jumping somersaults. Or maybe, if, if that sounds racist, maybe a little mouse then, whatever. There's just some little animal in there just pushing all these buttons that it doesn't know what they do. Uh, and that's just right in the center in one of... Um, in one of the, is it the ventricles of the brain, they call them, where you've got the, the sort of little gaps inside your brain. Just some little animal in there, mischiefly, pulling little little ropes, pressing little switches. Um, yeah, because <laughs> that honestly is the level of, of Wilder's intellect. He's just, honestly, out of people that sort of celebrities, you want to call them that, that we come across uh, in various walks of life, you know, doing different things. I just can't come across one as 
I don't want to use the word retarded because that sounds like I'm insulting disabled people, mentally challenged, um, what we used to call retarded. I haven't come across one as bad as Wilder, I really haven't. So, um, yeah, oh dear, yeah. Anthony Joshua always avoids the big fights. All the, he always avoids the difficult fights. Uh, but will Wilder jump in there with you, Sec? Huh. I'll believe it when I see it. Will Fury dare to jump in there with Usyk? Unfortunately, I'll only believe it when they're in the ring. And if Fury says he definitely will, and he'll beat that little dosser easily, unfortunately, it probably means he won't fight him. So we shall see. <laughs>